those of you flipping through Newcombs, you may have noticed a few different symbols next to some of the plant names. One of these is an asterisk, so the asterisk indicates that the plant you're looking at is non-native to the area. The other symbol is a dagger, which uh, represents that the plant is not illustrated in the book. So that if you're looking for an exact match through some of the pictures, you probably won't find it that way and you may want to look it up online. Unfortunately, although Newcomb is a great resource, it's not exactly perfect. One issue is that some of the Latin names have become outdated since this book has been published, so you may want to double check before you use Latin names from the book anywhere in a research paper or if you're ever writing them down. Uh, and if you guys are interested in upgrading your plant skills, there are a few online resources available for you guys. One of them is Go Botany, which is a website which, similar to Newcombs, uses a variety of characteristics to help you ID your plant, using as much or as little information as you can supply it with. For those of you who are interested in taking your skills to the next level, I'd recommend Michigan Flora. This plant guide can be found online, and it's quite big and pretty technical, but once you get to know how to use it, this is something that can take you pretty far in, a, in your career if you are interested in plant ID professionally. Uh, if you're also interested in just seeing what we have in the area, I would definitely recommend checking out the Ecology Lab's online herbarium. The herbarium is kept in the lab itself, but every specimen we have is also uploaded online for you guys to view at your own pleasure. Uh, thanks for watching our video, and if you have any questions about IDing plants, either with Newcombs or in general, feel free to leave a comment and we'll get back to you soon.